We're going to decorate our shaker and make it look like a flower. We need some green paper, or if you don't have green paper, you can use white paper and use a green pen. And then two colours for your flower. Scissors and glue. So the first thing to do is measure how big your green piece of paper is going to be. Um, and the green, this is going to be the stem of the flower. So the first thing we're going to do is wrap the green paper all the way around. So I'm just making two little marks so I can get roughly the right size. So I'm going to fold where the first mark is. You can see there. Hold up a little bit more. And my second mark is here. Fold there. Open it up. And that rectangle, I'm going to cut, that will be big enough to cover the stem. So if you have green paper like me, if you have a green pen or pencil, you're going to draw some leaves on it. So what's going to happen is this is going to be the stem. So I'm going to draw some leaves all over our stem. So I'm going to get a green pen. I've just got... I'm at, at my kitchen table today and I don't want to get a pen on my table so I just got a scrap piece of paper here to help so I don't get pen everywhere. So I'm just going to draw a few leaves. Just to give that idea, it's not good, it's not really realistic, you're just trying to give an idea of some leaves on the stem to make it look nice. So I'm going to check, see what that's going to look like. That is going to go around. So if I look, that, I think that looks quite good. Got a bit of a space at the back here. So I think I'm going to stick it down and then draw one more when it's stuck on. So I'm going to get the glue all over my green paper. And I'm going to roll the tube on my... Um, shaker, well the paper on the shaker. You can see I've got that one big gap, so I'm just gonna draw one more leaf here. Okay. And then I'm gonna make the, oh, that's not sticking, it's a bit more glue. And then I'm gonna make the flower shape. So I'm gonna take a color got this pink I think that's pretty good so I'm going to imagine I'm going to stick the flower like that so I'm going to draw five so I'm going to draw a flower like that I'm going to use one for the front and one for the back so I'm going to fold the paper over so I can cut two exactly the same so get the scissors and remember when you're cutting as you cut to move the paper around, not the scissors, but the paper. I'm going to cut my two flowers out. Okay. So one flower will be at the front of my shaker and one at the back. And actually, I'm going to try, I hope I can join them together like this. So I'm now going to stick them on, put the glue at the bottom of each, make sure it's the same. And I'm going to stick one flower there, one flower there, and see if I can join, squeeze them together like that. Give a good squeeze so the glue really sticks. That's pretty cool. And then just to finish it off, I'm going to do a yellow circle in the middle of each flower. So I need a little bit of yellow. Again, fold it in half so you can cut two at the same time. You could draw your circle shape first, or like me, you can just cut and as you move it, it's quite easy to cut a circle shape. Glue on one side. Turn it over. Remember to stick it again, make sure you've really stuck it. Glue on the other side, and there is your flower shaker.